do with this one, though? Same thing, except this time it's not going to spit out the square root of 3 over 2, is it? Why won't it just spit back what I had? Yeah. These are not the inverse functions of each other. Up here we have the inverse functions of each other. Here we do not. So let's do the part in the middle first. So all together I'm trying to do sine of cosine inverse of the square root of 3 over 2. And so let's start in the middle. What's the cosine inverse of the square root of 3 over 2? In other words, what angle between 0 and pi has a cosine value of the square root of 3 over 2? 5 over 6? Everybody going okay with that one? Imagine the picture I just drew up here when we did the tangent thing. That worked. So this was pi over 6. Now, to finish out my problem, I will need to take the sine of, and I just figured out this was pi over 6, of pi over 6, and what's the sine of pi over 6? One half. One half. So the answer to my question is <coughs> one half. Taking the angle 5 
5 pi over 4 and subtracting pi, which will give me 5 pi over 4 minus 4 pi over 4, which is pi over 4. So we got the reference angle. What is the sine of pi over 4, S-I-N sine? Square root of 2 over 2. That's one you're supposed to just know. But then when I move it so that it's in quadrant 3, what happens to the S-I-G-N sign of that number? It becomes negative. So this becomes negative square root of 2 over 2. Now, if you do this enough on angles, you know, like this one, you'll go, oh, there's a 4 on the bottom. That's in quadrant 3. So I'm looking at pi over 4 for my reference angle, and I go from there. Basically, because remember we said that whenever we do this, the denominator never changes. So if this were a 3 or a 6, this would, the reference angle would have a 3 or a 6. And you just have to then go from where you are. So your reference angles are basically, for the ones you know, are going to be pi over 3, pi over 4, and pi over 6, if we expect you to spit out numbers. Now, sine inverse of this thing, negative square root of 2 over 2. What is the question I ask myself here? Remember, it is what angle between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 inclusive has a sign value of negative square root of 2 over 2. So am I going to be in, where am I going to be if my sign value is negative? What quadrant am I going to have to be in? I'm going to have to be in quadrant 4 because I have a choice of only from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, so it's only quadrants 1 and 2. So somewhere in quadrant 4 this is going to happen. Where down there going in the negative direction is it going to be? That's positive. Oh. Negative pi over 4. So pi over 4 is the one that we know is the basic one, but because we have to put that down in quadrant 4 going in the negative direction, it'll be negative pi over 4. That's how far we have to go down there. So the answer to this is negative pi over 4. Notice it is not the same number I put in. So unlike our standard inverse functions, if we didn't have to do anything to them in order to get an inverse, what we put in, if we did the function to it and then did the inverse to it, we got it right back out. That's what doesn't happen here. Because we had to lop off some huge chunks of the function in the first place. We don't have to lop them off when we plug things into the function, but when we talk about the inverse, well, a lot of it's gone. Most of it's gone. All right. Now that I did that one, why don't you do this one? Go right ahead, have fun. Cosine of 5 pi over 3. Where's 5 pi over 3? Four quadrants. Four quadrants. So we work our way around. We're approximately right here going this direction. So there's my 5 pi over 3. What's my reference angle? Pi over 3 is gotten by doing 2 pi minus 5 pi over 3. That gives me pi over 3. What is my cosine of pi over 3? <coughs> well, how far out x-wise do I go? Not really. I don't have a circle on here. Which, one, Keeping in mind one of them is 1 half and the other one is quarter 3 over 2. You should remember those for pi over 3. You got one coordinate that's one half, one coordinate that's the square root of three over two. That's the case for both pi over three and pi over six. Which one looks like it's further out? The x one or the y one? X or y? Which one did I go further? It's hard to tell because it looks more like a pi over four question. The y does. The y looks like it goes further, and the square root of three over two is bigger than Sorry. one half. So this part is um, the cosine. The cosine of 5 pi over 3 has a basic value of 1 half.